happy Saturday, Zelda fans. So I am getting ready to play. I have the Master Sword. It is in a very weird location. Um, anyway, I've already figured out two of the world phenomena. I have two left, and one in Gerudo and one in Zora's Domain. I'm headed to Zora's Domain right now. But yeah, um, thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button if you like this type of content. Thanks. Bye! So, nope. King Sidon is going to be standing near the statue of Mipha. Actually, the statue of Mipha is up on that hill. But King Sidon is over here. So we're just going to go talk to him. Link, it has been far too long. I received word that you have gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired. No. To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. And afterward, you mysteriously awoke on a sky island. Hmm. The sky, could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Hmm. Uh, my apologies, I have actually been wondering if the those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I have tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruined fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this spot at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water and manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Wow. Hmm. Say, Link, does it seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Giotto. His many years have blessed blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite impossible that he would prov provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Jato continuous investigation at Toto Lake. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Okay, so we gotta go find this Jato dude. Speak with Jato at Toto Lake. Okay. What is this? Mifa Court Security Report. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops failing. Thanks to the tireless efforts of. Okay. Just talking about the sludge. 
Let's look for Total Lake. There's a Lulu Lake. Toto Lake is right here, so I'm going to put a stamp on it. Here's a tip, if you throw some splash fruit, oh, I didn't mean to do that. If you take some splash fruit and just shoot it, it gets rid of the sludge. Oh, I wonder if that's total like... It's got to be Total Lake. Oh, that, no, we are not, no. Okay. So I want to talk about something. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a born again believer. I love Jesus Christ. I think Jesus is pretty cool because he died on the cross for our sins. Um, I believe, I believe that it happened 2000 years ago and because of what he did, he destroyed death. I believe also that there is a heaven and a hell and that one day we will all if we live a life if we live a life that's pleasing to heavenly father that we will get to one day be with jesus christ in heaven there is that's tarrytown i don't need that But yeah, um, there's a scripture, for those of you that don't believe, there's a scripture about how people suppress the truth and unrighteousness. They suppress the real truth of God because they don't, they'd rather believe a lie than believe in, in, in a God. And I feel like there is evidence of a God all around us. Creation, which is what you see, the sky, the birds. Hold on one sec, let's pause. I have to take care of this. Oh, I got hit. There's two. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> anyway, creation testifies of a creator. If you don't believe in God, just look at the look at buildings, look at the sky, look at birds and dogs and cats. Like I can prove God to you right now. Your favorite Look, think about your favorite place to go or your favorite building. You've never met the creator of that building. But 
you can still see the building. You can still see the building. You just never met the creator. Creation testifies of a creator. That's just how it is. One of my favorite scriptures is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world for he, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then 17, for God did not send his son to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Okay, we are now at Toto Lake. We're about to speak with Jato. I see him, he's over here. <laughs> This dignified presentation, yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea, extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zoran ancestors from the distant past and left us to discover. Stand upon the land of the sky fish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. At last, I cannot decipher it. Hmm. Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. Deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. When you spoke with the historian Jato, he told you he discovered an old Zora slate. There is information related to the sky written there, but the slate is broken and the full meaning is unclear. This could be a clue to finding Princess Zelda. There must be some way to decipher it. Okay. So we have to find the slide. Grumbling to myself like that. It's not as it sounds, really. Oh. Chateau keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary. Okay, so, but how do we find... I'm confused. And it is my job to guard him. That is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Oh. Right, do you see that opening there? Oh. The cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval, and that revealed these ancient ruins. Princess, Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Oh. Jato was a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and he's completely transfixed by the ruins. Alright guys, so we need to help Jato fix this broken slab. You're gonna need water fruit to do it. So just get some water fruit. And use Ultra Hand. Not the right way to do that. <laughs> Great.
What is this? The stone slab. I can hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. Ah! I finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridges resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the sky. Mm -hmm. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Thorfinn. But I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Okay, so now we gotta go speak with the king. I think King Dorfin is Sidon's daddy, but I'm not sure. guys so we spoke to Sidon he basically said that we needed to go to the land of the skyfish hmm. drop uh, so the only remaining mystery is that of the floating rock and the shape of the droplet found in the lake of the skyfish it is if it is called the land of the skyfish that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. So, I'm guessing we have to go over here. Do, do, do. And we are going to go up, up, up. Floating Scales Island. So, yeah. I'm going to clean some of this gunk up. Random pieces over here of floating rock. Huh? 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 
Okay, so here's our teardrop that we're looking for. So we're going to take one of the scale things that we got from King Dorfin, and we're going to shoot it through here. My aim is not the best, but yeah, we're going to still try. Boom. down to side on died. <laughs> 